Hey guys, Stereo Dragon Gravity here again, giving you a more Kumo deck profile. Now this is my Covert Demonic Dragon Mandal Lord deck profile. Uh, I didn't really want to, I did have it, but I didn't want to really do anything with it when only set 5 was out. But with the added support of BTO9, this deck is really good. So, uh, we'll get into the deck. First are the grade 3s, as there's Rush in the background. We have four covert demonic dragon Mandela Lord. Get this in here. Now he is really, really good. Um, here's his skill. You can just pause and if you want to read it. I'm not going to read it because it'll take too much time. So that's enough of that. Um, next for grade threes, if I get my deck here, uh, we have. Three Tamamo. Uh, Tamamo is your Morikumo's Garmore clone. Uh, he is very good. I will hold up his skill for you. So he's really good. Um, he, you can superior call copies of units. So you can have attackers and he gains 5,000 when attacking a Vanguard on limit break. So he's really good and he looks real nice. So. And then my final grade three is one fantasy pedal storm Shiryuki. Um, I just basically have her in here because she's an 11k beater, and I wanted uh, eight grade threes. Thank you. So this is my grade three lineup. Now I am tight on space, so I will putting be putting these right there. Now grade twos, I have four stealth beast bloody mist, our 10k beater. Now he is really good in this deck. Gotta have max compi copies. Um, you can either use Tomo skill to superior call. You can place one down and then superior call another one from the deck. Or you can use uh, his skill to superior call a copy. It's really, really good. Uh, so hopefully my camera does not fall. So. Other great twos, I have two Stealth Dragon Curse Breath. Um, he helps you search out your Melanda Lord. So there's its skill if you want to pause and look. Uh, next, I run two Stealth Beast Spellhound. Um, if there's a copy of anything you want to spear call in the damage zone, you can just get it back in there. Or if you want to feel the mid broken for Tamamo. So he's your self damager. I'm gonna run more once I do a full Tomomo deck. But for now he's good. Like that. Other great twos, I run two stealth archer for Shimi. I uh, can see its skill right there, you can pause and read it. Or you can look it up in the Morikumo database that I'll probably have a link to in the description. Uh, he's basically Tejas on Vanguard. And then we have one damage on Flipper. Just one, as a tech card. I've been doing this since most of my decks, half some of my decks. If I want a little bit of damage on flip and I have some space, I'll put one in. So that's my grade twos. 11 grade twos. Uh, going on to grade ones, we have four of our AKs, Stealth Rogue of Silence. Uh, he's really good to make those decent columns. And we do have a lot of 8k grade 2s, so yeah, you want these. Uh, for not more grade ones, we have three Stealth Beast Night Panther. Now, this deck card right here, just as having this card in the deck, makes the deck completely better. Because this helps you, really help you get those consistent columns. Uh, can I bust one? This unit gains 1,000. So definitely running these. Uh, another thing is um, I run two Stealth Beast Leaves Mirage, our perfect guard. I only run two because I only have two, but two has been really working. I always get at least one or both of them in my hand because there is draw power in this deck. If you have the superior call effect to put triggers in this upwards in the deck 
as well as this deck is so good at defending you don't really need that many so you can get by with just two four would be nice but you can get by with just two um, we have two Stealth Beast Flame Fox, our 11k booster for Ta our Tamamo. So Tamamo is my other backup Vanguard. I will run him if I do not get Mandala Lord. So. And then for the last of great ones, we have three Stealth Fiend Obro Cart. Oh. You can pause right here and read its effect if I'm not shaking it at all. Um, he's real good. He helps superior call copies of boosters or beaters. It, when he's called on Vanguard or Rearguard, he can choose a Rearguard. So, three. Three's been working fine. I was running one and, and two. One of the grade one versions, searchers for him. But it was just too situational. And I couldn't find more space to put more. So I just put it at three. Um, that's grade ones. Uh, so for triggers, grid zeros. Oh, I I was using Stealth Beast, Stealth Ferret. I like Stealth Ferret a lot, but I found him to be more consistent in trying to search for your Mandela Lord or Tamamo, the grade three searcher for more Kumo. So we have four of these critical triggers. I really like these artwork. I've been waiting since January for these critical triggers and the blood. So we have four of Fox Tamer Izuna. It has had a name change. It was Fox User. It is now Fox Tamer. That actually sounds nice. So four of these. Four, four crit. Then three of the Stealth Beast Cat Devil for 7 crit is really good. Put him to soul. From rear guard, choose one of your more Kumo and give him 3,000. It's really good. And it says Meow, like in Naruto. That's actually hilarious. It says Meow. So I'll take this Meow. Um, other triggers. We have 5 draw. One lantern. And then, of course, four of these heal triggers. So, I like this deck. It's been working pretty good in testing. I'm probably gonna build a fantasy pedal uh, deck next. Uh, sorry, the music is loud in the background. It's fine though. If you're not worried about like the calorie side of it. So yeah. I'm probably going to build a deck next based on these two cards. Guys, I really like these cards. They work well. But for now, Convert. Dragon Mandala Lord that is sliding away is pretty good. I like him. He's shiny. He's shiny, yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Peace out. Harder and quicker.